Lift your voice and let's bless his name tonight. We have come to Mount Zion where God dwells even in the midst of innumerable company of angels alongside the spirits of just men made perfect where there is the blood of the sprinkling Jesus himself the first begotten of the Father someone lift your voice and bless him that tonight is my night for a dramatic encounter Someone is blessing him. Thank you, Jesus, the God that doeth wonders. Ask him for an encounter tonight. Father, give me an encounter tonight. In the name of Jesus, give me an encounter tonight. An evidence that you visited me. An evidence that you visited my family. For in Jesus mighty name we pray for in Jesus mighty name we pray for in Jesus mighty name we pray among the gods who is like thee you are glorious in holiness you are fearful in praises, always doing wonders, hallelujah. Among the gods, there is no one like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. your name upon me breathe. just breathe your name upon me breathe. your name will hear your name breathe. just breathe your name upon me breathe. just breathe your name upon me visit us tonight in the name of Jesus you have called it a miracle service let it answer to its name and to you be all the glory in Jesus name we pray Amen. greet someone by your left and right and please be gloriously seated good evening everybody God bless you you are gloriously welcomed to our first miracle service for this prophetic year of open doors are you celebrating jesus hallelujah and so i welcome everyone in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god listen for as long for as long as jesus remains king of kings and lord of lords 
Number two, for as long as this mandate still stands, you will never remain at the same position. That, that is a commitment that is bound by a covenant that it will be impossible for you to come here in that way. Hallelujah. Without the manifestation of the miraculous, the power of God to heal, to deliver, to liberate, to command breakthrough, I stepped in and I heard the testimony of the man. I was so touched. You cannot imagine. Listen, let me tell you. There are some possibilities that can never happen in your life. Except and unless you encounter the genuine power of God. So there are some things that will not happen eventually. No. It takes the power of God to sponsor those possibilities like the change of a man's story not in a wicked world like this it takes power so he gave us that authority and that power There is no demonstration of the reality of the kingdom the people have a right to say you are lying that the miraculous gives credence to the presence the power of God imagine how evil it will be that you're having this crowd of people inside scattered everywhere so many people outside trouble on them is only their tears that can tell the story please hear me listen carefully I assure you that God is still on the throne I assure you that when Jesus said it is finished we sang it here when he made that statement Yakari is up to you to believe or to keep arguing with your destiny but as for tonight and as far as this miracle service is concerned that you came here is enough evidence of your faith in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. hallelujah by reason of what I do I am exposed to so many people's problems and issues in their lives you cannot imagine the kinds of things that people go through in this side of God's kingdom on a daily basis. Medical in infirmities, only thing that calls for the power of God. There are people, if the power of God does not come upon their lives, the devourer will take advantage of their health condition, illegal pathway. And then number two, as soon as he arrives, he reaches straight for where the treasure is kept and leaves. A thief does not sit down and say, let me have a one hour here stand, then I can sleep. Even if there is nobody there, the, the attention of the thief is the most valuable thing he can find in that house. So when Satan comes as a thief, he goes straight to the aspects of your life that control your rising, your lifting, your excelling. He cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to and when they called my attention, I said, I know exactly what is happening. Let me pray. Hallelujah. How about finances? This is another area where so many people have suffered and are struggling and the devil rejoices when people go down financially because our world is driven by economy. And so whatever cripples your hand financially has brought you in a point where you are incapacitated, unable to bless your loved ones, unable to help your children, unable to live a life of meaning and dignity. Satan for you, determined to see that he will thwart everything that is God. Satan only wants to hear what God has said concerning your life. If he says this year is a year of open door, he starts looking for a way of a way to close every door. 
But thank God the Bible calls him a liar and the father of them that lie. In the name of Jesus Christ. What God showed you must come to pass this season. Did you hear what I said? Uh, that lifting, that rising, that new level, it must come to pass. <laughs> Hallelujah. How about people who go through mysterious circles, repetitive circles of pain, setbacks? Have you seen people like that? Someone will promise you and say, come, I will give you a job tomorrow. And you get to the person's office and he says, I can't remember, did I ask you to come? And now you are standing there looking stupid and wondering what suddenly happened to this man. Anybody who is taking your place, sitting on what belongs to you, in the name of Jesus, I call upon my God, who is also your God. In this miracle service, I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. By the power of prophecy, I overturn. I say it again, I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. I overturn. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even when the anointing was upon David, Saul was still seated on his seat. Even when Jesus came to collect the keys, Satan was still the God of this world. And he had the audacity to brag before the ancient of days. He said, come, look at the glories of this world, for it was given to me. Demonic spirits are stubborn by nature. This is where the ministry of power comes in. Are we together? Anything in your life that does not reflect the glory of God, you have an assignment to insist. Listen, you have an assignment to insist by faith. I'm, I'm just giving you a summary of why you came here. Because there are many people who come to the house of God and they, respectfully speaking, are so careless and insensitive, just rejoicing, watching who is falling, watching who is rising, watching who is jumping, while other people are receiving by faith, changing levels in the spirit, insisting on the manifestation of prophecy. There are others who remain spectators almost forever and they go back disappointed, wondering, God, why didn't you visit me? So we are here to experience the power of God in our lives. This is the purpose of the miracle service. Tonight is not a time to discuss. We have weeks to teach the word of God and that we are committed to doing with, with diligence and with excellence. But a miracle service is dedicated to be an extension of God's love, God's power, God's mercy to his people. I do not believe in the faith practice that ends up as a discussion we need to see god manifest in our lives here and now for god's sake that god will do something in your life and give you a consolation too there are many of us you have not personally seen the power of god manifest in any area of your life and right now you are at the edge of unbelief and compromise because it looks like this these stories you are wondering is it that god does not see me You must, you must release your faith tonight as if you are the only one in this place. It's not being selfish. It's being determined and insistent. The woman who sat with the issue of blood, well, we don't know whether there were other lepers or other people around, but the Bible says she said to herself, it was not a corporate discussion. If I may but touch the hem of his garment, she invented her own formula for her miracle. I don't know how the rest will be healed, but as for me, this is my approach. For someone, you are going to say, as I lift my hands, oh God, it will not just be a lifting of hands. I am actually receiving something. As I stand, as I shout, as I sing, your faith has to define your receiving. Hallelujah. So make up your mind to not be familiar with God. Make up your mind to not believe that I know what will happen. Shortly right now, people will start shouting and rolling on the floor and all of that. You carry that kind of mentality 
you would have just slept well at home at least so that you don't waste your time in multiple ways but for as long as you are here your heart must be open like Jacob some of you missed out on everything God did last year now he's given you a chance that you open up your heart Lord I came here for my story to change I came here for my life to carry the the stamp of your mercy the stamp of your grace I came here because this age-long captivity in my family must give way I came here because this yoke this altar that has sat upon people's destinies it must bow I've come here because this wicked spirit that brings mighty people down in my family it must give way once and for all I came here oh God because you have given me the privilege to be the only one out of 20 people who, who is saved in my family I've come here as the first of the remaining 19 who must be saved in their lifetime they, they, you have to connect and be intentional for some of you there is nobody who has remembered you yet your phone is full of numbers full of numbers of relevant people who can become a leverage an easy leverage anytime someone thinks of something good they forget you until they are done doing good for others they say ah why did you come late i hope you know lateness has a price ask esau esau came late and isaac said you just came i've blessed him already he said father is there nothing again ask the remaining five virgins they returned and the door was already shut hallelujah And there are some of you good things don't stay in your hands the moment someone blesses you the moment God opens a door you are even afraid of blessings because it looks like there is a track record of nothing good lasting in your life someone comes into your life and says I want to help you and your family you are afraid because you know something will happen may God rewrite your story <laughs> In the name of Jesus, may my God rewrite your story. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, something happened one time. A man was about to be promoted. And while I was told, true story, he was about to be promoted and his boss would later tell him when he went to bed, he had a voice warning him not to lift and promote that man. And he got up regardless what they discussed at an executive level he just cancelled it like that it was later on that he was wondering and saying what I don't know what happened all I did was I had a voice the only voice your destiny helper must hear is the voice of help and mercy towards you I say it again the only voice your destiny helper must hear is the voice of help and mercy towards you hallelujah one of the things I hope that God will grant us grace over is this this onslaught of untimely death just sweeping across you see young vibrant people with no traceable health condition they just go to bed and wake up I hope you you know that long life is your heritage in Christ and don't be ashamed to declare and stand upon the truth of God's word don't say this person believed and died thank God the person made heaven but as for you that is still alive don't sit and keep quiet and allow the devil waste your life like that no long life with long life he says you see most believers are careless because we are afraid when we say some things to make it bold we think we're embarrassing ourselves with because we don't seem to have the result he said let the weak say i am strong huh let the poor say i am rich if you see a poor man saying i am rich in the name of jesus you look at him and say dear foolish man continue this nonsense you are talking while confession is not the only key to wealth it is a potent spiritual key it begins to open other doors that eventually navigates you to the wealthy place 
one of the character of depression medical science will tell us is bringing you to the point of silence you see a depressed man a noisy man cannot be a depressed man a depressed man keeps quiet in silence and then is destroyed completely hallelujah so when it is time to pray and to make prophetic declarations you must know that it is also part of the package for the miracle service when it is time to speak don't keep quiet if God directs us and says begin to declare over your life don't watch others rewriting rearranging building their destinies that in the name of Jesus there is no death in the name of Jesus there is no smallness it says I will multiply you you will not be small I will glorify you you will not be few listen the, what you believe is what works for you not what is available what you believe the part of scripture you believe is the part that works for you if you believe that God is only God of the mountains you will only see his power when you climb the mountain if you believe that God is the God of the valleys alone you will only see his power when you are in the valley but when you believe that God is God of both mountain and valley it doesn't matter whether you're on the mountain or the valley you expect his power to be made manifest are we together so you must expect and open up your heart to receive everything that God has in store for you tonight when it is time to pray you need to pray because prayer is a very important component you will be learning as far as the release of God's power is concerned let me show you one or two scriptures and then we get to the business of the night God is already touching us Matthew chapter 17 please we'll read from verse 14 Matthew 17 and verse 14 this was the healing of the demoniac remember the bible says and when they were come to the multitude no the, the little boy that had a demon when they were come to the multitude there came to him a certain man follow closely kneeling down to him and saying reading to 21 lord have mercy on my son for he is lunatic and so vexed and oft times he falleth into the fire and off into the water now you imagine the character of satan that he does not even spare a little boy look at the condition of this little boy you know what it means to fall into fire and fall into water any one of them could kill him 16 and i brought him to your disciples now follow closely and they could not cure him i brought him to your disciples those who have been under your mentorship but they could not cure him so I brought the matter to you now 17 Jesus answered immediately Jesus addressed the issue he said oh faithless and perverse generation so he went straight to the subject of faith as the answer to the limitation as far as the healing of that boy notice he never spoke about the will of the father this was not an issue of the will of the father this was a faith problem oh faithless and perverse generation how long will i be with you how long shall i suffer you bring him hither to me so let's watch what jesus does now 18 jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him and the child was cured from that very hour now the disciples came verse 19 they came to him to ask him give us 19 please media they came to the disciples then came the disciples to Jesus and said why could not we cast him out very lovely disciples every time you fail ask those who did not fail in that area they, they did not waste their time in blind argument they came and said Jesus we take responsibility something must be wrong somewhere for this man to not be healed by our hands but then to be healed in a moment it means there was something we're not getting teach us and Jesus said because of your unbelief notice he was talking to the preachers he was not talking to the victim he said your unbelief that means as a man of God you need to sort your own faith problem first before you come to God's people 
their faith can be intact but your faith as a man of God if it is not intact it can still short circuit their receiving because of your unbelief he says for verily I say unto you if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed ye shall say to this mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you I like 21 let's read it together verse 21 how be it this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting we have a prayer series coming and we'll be able to look at what jesus was saying that means the primary assignment of prayer and fasting is to do something to your conviction and your believing this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting so jesus tells them that the major problem from verse 19 and 20 as we read is because of your unbelief what is unbelief lack of conviction hallelujah what is unbelief skepticism will god do it am i sure is the power of god real this guy who just got up from a wheelchair how are we sure that he could not walk before he came that kind of mindset is the mindset of those who never receive from god this mama that is jumping are we sure that she was really sick what is the evidence that her back was paining her before? See, once you start thinking like that, you are doing the same thing Sarah did when the angels came and there was a declaration that you will have a son. She laughed. It was not a laugh of faith. It was a laugh of skepticism. Unbelief. Shall it happen? Hallelujah. Let's look at Matthew 21. Matthew 21 from verse 21 and 22. Jesus taught something very powerful. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, watch this now, ye shall not only do this which was done to the fig tree, remember? The cursing of the fig tree. And when you read the previous verses, this, this synoptic account will say, Presently it withered. And then we get to verse 21 and Jesus is teaching now. He's saying what happened to the fig tree was a lesson that should continue in many areas in your life. It says you shall not only do what was done to the fig tree, but if you shall say to this mountain, be ye removed and cast into the sea, it shall be done. Notice the context of Jesus is speaking. There has to be specificity and exactitude to your speaking. You can't just say, mountain, I don't like you. That's not what moves mountains. That mountain be removed and be cast into the sea. It shall, it shall be done. Verse 22. I like this. And all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Let's read it together. And all things. How many things? How many things? whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer so one of the ways that we ask according to scripture is to ask in prayer i told you and i've taught you here that one of the assignments of prayer aside from your personal transformation is as a tool a vehicle for making petitions and obtaining requests it says all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing so it is not really the prayer alone that brings the solution your prayer mixed with your believing it says ye shall receive ye shall receive what things soever remember matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 and 8 ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you i like verse 8 for everyone there are some blessings that are for some, like the fivefold. But when it has to do with receiving from God, it says, For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. That means if you do not receive tonight, it is because you have refused to ask. You see that? Your participation as far as prayer and every aspect of this service is concerned is your you're cooperating with the asking process when god says shout you shout when god says stand you stand this is you asking lay your hands where it's hurting check yourself when you are healed you see that 
that includes your testimony your stepping out to testify do you know why many people get healed they get blessed and then they return back and their conditions remain the same because they make the mistakes of the nine lepers there were ten lepers look up please you see when we take testimonies in truth it is not ultimately to validate that the man of God is anointed there is an aspect of that bringing attestation to the speakings of God through the man of God but the major assignment of the testimony is to help the testifier to perfect and retain that which you have received there were ten lepers the Bible says and they beckoned on Jesus to heal them and he told them he said all ten of you go and show yourself to the priest as they went the Bible says immediately they were cleansed and the Bible says one of them 17 15 of Matthew one of them when of Luke when he saw that he was healed the Bible said he turned back and with a loud voice glorified God he returned back to Jesus to tell him thank you and Jesus said were there not nine of you you were nine and I know the power of my word that means all nine something happened to them but only one returned so someone can be outside in the overflow someone can be following from Europe from America across the globe and something spectacular happens to you and then you just celebrate and say well is it really should I testify or for some of us we think that our miracles are not spectacular enough for instance my own was just my left ear I, I I hear but not too well and then it just opened now I can hear well I think I should allow those who have notable miracles everything sponsored by the power of God deserves giving him glory about everything are we together there are many believers who are afraid of coming out to testify most times it may just be because of you know their personality phobia and all of those kinds of things and we understand that is why as much as possible we make the stage comfortable for everyone if you cannot speak english speak whatever language you know there should be a way to interpret if we can't interpret we just know that you said thank you jesus and we pray for you you return back to your seat that's the most important thing but don't sit back when god has touched you and blessed you no it shouldn't be it's a recipe for having that sickness return back again jesus said when a spirit leaves a man that it goes through dry regions and not finding a place of rest it will say i will go back to my house so just because you have been free and delivered does not mean satan will not insist let me try again and ingratitude is such an open door for satan to come back into an individual's lives are we together so unbelief is that which we must stamp out of our lives tonight as we prepare to receive. Do you know why you are always asked to write your prayer request? I will tell you the mystery of prayer requests. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing. Philippians 4 and verse 6. But in everything it says, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request is that in your bible be made known unto god how do you make your request known to a god that knows all things all things all things he knows and yet the bible says make your request known to him there are no assumptions god knows if he wants to bless me is he not so powerful no 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 it's an act of faith to make your request known jesus would meet people who were sick for instance blind Bartimeo, and he would ask a blind man what should i do for you it's a costly assumption to assume that the man wants his eyes opened it could be like the guy at get beautiful he was not looking for healing he was looking for arms he did not believe his faith was not for healing his faith was for supplies and the disciples said no let's help this man we don't have money we're still learning this prosperity thing but since we've sorted the healing anointing such as we have such as we have such as i have give i unto you in the name of jesus of nazareth 
That means you don't have to wait till you know everything. The one that is working, start using it to bless people while you learn the rest. Are we together? Give I unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the guy sat down there like a stone looking at them. And the Bible says, Peter reached and held his hands and he leaping stood. And that was it. Tonight we have come to celebrate the triumph of light over darkness. Tonight we have come to receive from Jesus again. Tonight you have come to bring manifestation to those things that you have believed. There is nothing that God cannot do. I am telling you sincerely, let your faith, let your faith reach out to him tonight. You are sick in your body, I want you to believe. The dynamics of the miraculous is something that only God can explain. The Bible says, just as you do not know the way of the wind, or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child, how a little seed in the womb of a woman turns to become a full baby with bones that you now cannot use your hand to break one day. It says, so also you do not know the works of God who makes all. So sometimes, like it is for many tonight, you may not see wind, you may not see rain. Yet your valley, the, the, the valley that has kept you, all of a sudden you will see water coming. Don't ask where it is coming from. The God of heaven can make anything to become anything. There are times you have to wait for the angel to come once in a year and steer the waters. But ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus comes, there is no waiting again. There and then, he can tell you stand up. He can tell you stand up. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop So what has God told you? For some of you, while you cried as a family, God told you this is the year of laughter. Don't wait till December. Insist. Lord, you said so. We are ready. We are prepared to begin to laugh. These years of pain, circles of pain, there are families every year. They, they don't know who is going to fall sick for that year. Who will the devil use as a, you know, as a devourer to destroy the family's finances? Some of you, this is a time you are going to insist that this covenant I have with poverty in this miracle service, it must be broken. Because you see, some of you are not sick, but what is on you, it, it looks like sickness is even better. There is a reproach that can come upon a man that smears every aspect of your life. One of it, let me tell you, is financial incapacitation. Believe me when I tell you this. There are parents right now, as schools have resumed, they are moving from pillar to post in debt that is on their neck. And you know Satan, he's a master. When he finds these kinds of opportunity, he will keep it there. Guiding you to make unwise decisions that keep plunging you deeper and deeper. Many people have died as a result of financial problems. Insist that you will prosper this year by the dignity of kingdom integrity. You heard what happened to this man. Prosperity is, not, is very important, not by playing pranks and crooks and a lot of things and you know, no, with the dignity of kingdom integrity, not balloon success that you're up today, down tomorrow, sustained by light. Are we together? For someone, respectfully speaking, this is the year you are going to insist. I'm tired of renting. Father, you will move me by the Spirit of God. And then for many, let me talk about your spiritual life. There are people who came here because spiritually you are in ICU. If God does not help you after this miracle service, it's almost as if your life is gone. You don't know how many percent of you belongs to God now again because it looks like everything in life it has gone down prayer life down fasting zero word study life 
zero conviction zero some of you only open your bibles in church and now with with screens you don't even is it's gone you don't even know where it is cheer up the fire of revival still comes to drive away that demonic cloud that has brought laxity to your spiritual experience are we together the wicked demonic spirit of slumber the eater of the destiny of great men that people will sit down and sleep away their destiny you start sleeping from eight o'clock and wake up ten the next day no you are going nowhere that way mm -mm. rest is good don't get me wrong I've told you it's on the seventh day God rested if you are resting on the second day you are not behaving like God there are some of us right now we have come here to obtain the grace the power to run because you need to catch up in many regards in your life please hear me what you came I repeat to receive for many of you is the you know how a relay is unfortunately the family or the generations passing you the baton the person even fell down self you are the one who had to go down to go and pick it before you return to where your destiny starts counting you are already 40 50 and you've not even started the race so when it's time to prophesy speed and crush delay don't sit down as if you are 15 years old let the children be playing while you receive with all your heart because right now what you need is double grace to run is someone hearing what i'm saying Someone who is yet to have children may not receive anything for favor because he's still with 10,000. He can flog out his life there. But now you have four children plus eight that they sent from your village to stay with you. Please receive favor when that grace comes. Otherwise, you, you will depress yourself. You will be joking to believe that salary will solve that problem. No. Except you want to be quarreling with your wife from pillar to post, lying about your finances to one another. All these demonic things are products of poverty. I hope I'm provoking you enough so that when you stand up, you are not looking around. Your eyes on Jesus, time to open fire and pray. You pray with all your heart. Lord, what is that that represents shame and reproach? I bring it before you. You flog it out with destiny. Some of you here are men of God and even your spouses are beginning to doubt the call of God upon your life because there is absolutely no evidence whatsoever. Presence, zero. Power, zero. Word content, zero. Intelligence, zero. Leadership, zero. When it's time to impart the wisdom of God, you open up your heart and say, Lord, this ministry has to begin to speak. You sent me. The Bible says to give all diligence to make your calling and your election sure. You have a responsibility to stop men from doubting your God and your call. It is not God's responsibility. It is your responsibility to make your calling and your election sure. There are families here, respectfully speaking, you may have lost the loved ones that represent the breadwinners. Maybe your father was the only one who was helping. Maybe your mother, maybe your siblings and the devil just used his hand to take them. And right now there is nobody in that family. The grace to lift is available and it's important for you to receive it. Remember our song? I will hold on through the storm and I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men The lifter of men By now you know that God lifts. What does it mean to lift? To elevate you beyond your current position. All wise. God is able to lift men. I perceive in my spirit that there are people seated quietly today that by next miracle service the, the glory of God, you know how the prodigal son was restored with, with honor upon his life. In the name of Jesus already, let me speak over you. May that mantle of honor rest upon your life. Rest upon your life. Rest upon your life. Rest upon your life.
rest upon your life. Please sit down. One of the major reasons I have taught you here again while Israel goes to Egypt is hunger. Genesis 42, 1 and 2. Jacob told his sons when they heard that there was corn in Egypt, the problem was not the corn. Corn represents supply, sufficiency. But the location is where the problem is, Egypt. He said to his sons, why do ye look one upon another? Verse 2. Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. He said, get you down tether and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. And they went there never to return again. Until Joseph died and there arose another Pharaoh who did not know Joseph and he subjected God's covenant people to bondage for a space of 430 years until Moses came as a deliverer insufficiency not just financial insufficiency insufficiency of all sorts hallelujah we're going to pray a little the bible says to ask in prayer by the way i hope everyone has written his request please if you have not written your request perhaps you're a visitor you're coming here for the first time um, we're going to write our request, so do well to pen down. And those following across the globe, there should be provision for you to send in your requests online. And we'll collate everything and pray upon it. I love to pray on the requests because it is the most accurate representation of your desires. No matter how much we prophesy, we only see in part. Hallelujah. We only see in part. Please help someone who will start running from the overflow outside. I just saw the power of God literally pick someone, like someone running the overflow outside. I just saw an anointing right now, a strong anointing. Someone running outside. Because in the realm of the spirit, that person is not just running, but is coming out of what looks like a pit. This is what I'm seeing. It's like a pit that has kept buried people. And what I'm seeing is a strange mystery. Someone being buried, yet the person is still alive. I prophesy to those outside, the overflow particularly. I don't know what has buried your life and your destiny, but in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, right now, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost rest upon every destiny. Rest upon every destiny. Rest upon every destiny. Rest upon every destiny. Upon every destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please show me the screen for those outside. I'm still praying again. I don't know why God is speaking to the overflow outside now. Not, not the basement. In the name of Jesus. I'd like you to bring those out right now. Who will start running by the power of the Holy Spirit outside. I'm seeing this in a vision. Bring them out. I decree and declare right now by the anointing of the Spirit. Shabeketoskata. The anointing of the Spirit of God is falling upon everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Outside, every spirit of delay that has tied anyone's destiny, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, as God is speaking to those outside, He is also speaking to everyone everywhere. I don't know what has tied you, tied your father, tied your mother. In the name of Jesus, let it break now. Let it break now. Let it break now. Let it break now. Who is Justina? Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. Justina, who is that? Come. Is that? Justina. Please, if that's not your name, don't come out. Madam, come. God is about to change your story. No, no, please. She can. Uh -huh. Your name is Justina?
Her name is Justina. What happened to her, my God? Who brought her? What happened to Mama? Okay, um, last year by June. Straight she, to the point, yeah? Yeah, she had this fever and malaria, and after, afterwards she vomited. From there, she started having this ear uh, noise in her hair. So it couldn't assist her to sleep properly. The following morning, she had this first swollen. Then subsequently, it now translated to the second eyes. And now her vision now has been impaired. That was why we had to oh like, dear. bring her here. Have, did you take her to the hospital? Yeah, we did. We went to several hospitals. We'll pray. Yeah. Please, if that's not your name, make sure that let's... Justina, this is what I heard. My spirit. Mighty God. God is changing someone's story. There's one of you, God is removing something from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know who that is, but right now, I'm seeing something leaving you. That devil must leave you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, I stretch my hands over you. I'm, I'm going to pray for everyone, but there is... There is someone here, you are an architect. I'm seeing that it's like every door has closed. You are an architect. But honestly, it's like everything around your life is just reproach. And I want to pray and speak over that person. You are an architect by profession. I don't know who that person is. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare... You are an architect by professional. My friend, this guy that brought Mama, what did you study? I studied architecture. Shapako Sate Prata Kasiate. My friend, look at me. The way God will lift you where eh, is going to surprise. I'm saying it in the open. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Kaduna. You are from Kaduna I'm State? Ka Kagoro, from Kaduna. Listen, what God is about to do, you, go and write it down, that God will lift you in a way that will surprise you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I know you came to pray for Mama, but let me do your own prayer for you. In the name of Jesus, I use him as a point of contact to every architect here. This is by the revelation of the Spirit. I declare anyone here, you are an architect and it looks like your hands are tied down. No doors opening. I decree and declare, receive grace to go forward. 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 Grace to go forward. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And for the ladies that I asked to come out, I can't remember what name did I call again? Justina. In the name of Jesus Christ, let me pray for you. Who is pregnant? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring that lady shouting. Pala shaka sopa rosiata. No baby will die in anybody's stomach. In the name of Jesus. Please don't come out. I hope you are verifying. Mama is pregnant. Protocol you people should. You know your... Huh? Is she pregnant? Okay. Hallelujah. When we make calls like this, it's important. Let's verify those who are coming so that we'll make it easy. There's a lot to be done. I'm saying it again, there's, there's someone I need to pray. I know there are, you can imagine a crowd like this, there are many people who are pregnant, but I need to pray because the person I'm talking about, you've been seeing dead people in your vision. You, you sleep and you keep seeing dead people. I want to pray because I'm seeing an attack on your baby, an attack on your baby that you wake up one morning and just find out that there's no movement again. And they will tell you, you're pregnant, want to pray for you. I'm not saying you want to be pregnant. We'll, we'll pray about that one. 
I want to pray for you. When are you due? The, the EDD they are giving me is March. March. First March. You believe in Jesus? Yes. Sir. Place your hand on your stomach. Father, in the name of Jesus, she will not lose the baby. Yeah. I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Or her husband, don't worry. This is God just speaking to seal this. All these children are koinonia children, and we, we already received them by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm praying for all those who have come here with children. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, any attack on your children. Help them, please, so they don't fall with it. Any attack on any child here by divination or projections in the name of Jesus, let it be cancelled right now. 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 Let it be cancelled. Let it be cancelled right now. Hear me. And any manifestation where you have to choose whether it's the baby or the mother that will leave, we cancel it also. We cancel it also. In the name of Jesus Christ. According to scripture, Delivery of children is not a curse. It is a blessing. Whatever wants to make it a curse, we rebuke it right now in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please return back to your seat rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Return back to your seat rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Return back to your seat rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone at the back. I'm seeing the power of God. Um, the power of God is going to come upon someone at the back. I'm looking in the spirit and the, and the Lord is saying I should cancel that statement like father, like son. These are demonic patterns, evil things that happen to people at the back, close to the AC, where there's AC, close to it. I'm seeing the power of God touch someone there. Please don't be tired. This is a miracle service. Someone open your mouth and begin to pray that everything that is not of God must live my destiny. Everyone, please open your mouth and pray. The Bible says everything you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. Open your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. 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 I'm hearing a name Moses. You can imagine that there are many people who have that name, but I'm hearing the name Moses. Moses. God is asking me to pray for Moses. Who is Regina? Regina, you are at the back. Regina. Is there someone like that? Ron, come. Your time of visitation has come. Who is Regina? <laughs> Out of her now, in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. The Lord says I should tell you shame and reproach is rolled away from your life today. Shame and reproach is rolled away out of you in the name of Jesus. Shame and reproach is rolled away. As I've spoken to her, let me speak over someone. I don't know what embargo of shame has been put over your life. In the name of Jesus, let it be rolled away from your life now. Let it be rolled away from your life now. Moses. Now, I may not want to embarrass you, please. 
but there is one of you you need to be careful because your friends are yahoo boys and they're about to arrest you listen carefully this is a word of i'm not a prophet of doom be careful these boys that go around scamming people and police are haunting them if you are not careful you can be good but if you are in the midst of wicked people you are wicked too are we together now yes so this is an advice generally it's not your personal conscience is not the only issue you must protect your environment to reflect your convictions hallelujah you are a roommate or you are a, 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 a sharing the same room with a thief or an armed robber get out of that place because when they come to arrest him you are still a convict until proven otherwise moses let me pray for you now the power of god is coming on two of you and the lord is saying it's a change of story a strong anointing is coming on two of you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ one of you who came out here is going to be a mighty man of god i'm seeing an anointing i don't know who that person is but i release that grace let that fire rest upon you now let that fire rest upon you now let that fire rest upon you now may you be a mighty vessel in the hand of god a mighty vessel in the hand of god in the name of jesus everything that happened to those before you that is about to happen to you i cancel it right now i cancel it right now should i say this now please forgive me i don't want you to feel bad don't feel if, if but I'm, I'm just having to do this because God instructed me that you are here and you have had nine miscarriages. I'm seeing the number nine. Nine miscarriages. I'm going to pray for people, but if there is someone like that, please, don't be embarrassed. I ordinarily would not do that except that God put it in my heart. Nine miscarriages again and again. I don't know spanning to how many years. Please, if you find such a person, whether you are inside or outside, allow the person come. God wants me to minister to you right now. God wants you to minister. In the name of Jesus, you return. Ha. Take it higher for me. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria, and I'm seeing the hand of God go to Nasarawa State. There is an anointing people from that if you are here and you are from that region the power of god is going to begin to rest upon you bring them out here in the name of jesus there is i'm seeing there is a covenant that god is saying must be broken must be broken i don't know in the name of jesus christ every embargo that has held anyone belonging to that region i declare it broken right now I declare it broken right now. I declare it broken right now. See, I don't know why God does these things, but sometimes I just see the map of Nigeria and I see a hand just pointing a particular region. And usually when I mention that region, the power of God begins to touch people who come from that region. It's a sign and a wonder, a manifestation of God's grace and power. I'm still going to pray that prayer one more time again before we now begin the deliverance proper i hope someone is receiving already <laughs> nasarawa state ancient covenants that have tied people down that says they will not rise that says they will not rise i'm seeing a sword please if someone is under the anointing i want you to quickly bring them out father in the name of jesus anyone who belongs or is connected to that region right now in the name of Jesus, let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly. Let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly. Let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly. Let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly. Let the hand of God bring you deliverance suddenly. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a lady that God wants to deliver. Bring them out. 
you will be surprised what will happen to these people right now i'm seeing a lady you keep having dreams breastfeeding children and this thing has affected you it, you've even started feeling physical pain like you know a medical condition i don't know who that person is but in jesus name every covenant that has tied you and brought your destiny down everyone but particularly this is a lady god is showing me i declare by the fire of the holy ghost let it be broken now let it be broken now is there someone Who is Modupe? A name that I'm hearing a name like that. When you find someone with that name, please let me pray for the person. That should be a Yoruba name. You find someone with that name, please let me pray for the person. Modupe, I'm hearing that name. That's your name? Is it Sylvester? 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 I presume that's someone's name. Sylvester. I'm hearing that name. Sylvester. Sylvester. Where are you from, my dear? Edo State. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, you will not cry this year. Yeah. Where are your parents? I'm not prophesying do man, but in Jesus name we declare nothing will cut short their lives. Amen. You believe that? I stretch my hands, I use as a point of contact to anyone here that any spirit that wants to cut short the life of any of your parents, whether using accidents or using sickness, we declare here that by this miracle service it is cancelled right now. Sylvester, that's your name? That's your name, sir? What do you do? I'm an engineer, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Sylvester. I don't know what has tied your right hand. The right hand is a hand of power. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, be released right now. Yeah. Whatever has tied your hand, my God, I'm seeing something like a chain just cutting from the hand. The hand is an instrument of progress. Productivity happens by the hand. Whatever has tied your hand, uh, what God says to one, he's saying to everybody, I declare if anything has tied your hand, Action without progress. I declare be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it finally. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, Sylvester, you are an usher. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Huh? While I was praying, I saw light on you. God is raising you to become a light in your family. Yes. Hear what I'm telling you. I stretch my hands towards you and I pray. The anointing that lifts a man and causes him to be a deliverer over his family. May that grace rest upon you right now. May that grace rest upon you right now. May that grace rest upon you right now. I prayed for him, but I'm going to pray this same prayer. There will be many impartations now. There are many of you who, by destiny, the hand of destiny is upon you to be the one who God will use for your family. Some of you do not even know. As many who are here, who have been appointed to be the ones who will be used by God to wipe the tears of your family, may the mantle, may the mantle of a deliverer rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now, male or female, rest upon you now. Everyone destined by God to be the instrument that God will lift to wipe.
wipe the tears of your family i prophesy to you arise arise from the shadows and step into the place of destiny in the name of jesus christ step into the place of destiny step into the place of destiny because if you do not arise many who are connected to you especially by bloodline may not be able to rise and any embargo that is stopping you from rising every door that has closed that has closed over you so that you will not pass and so that your loved ones will not pass may that door open now may that door open now may that door Hallelujah. Have you found a lady? Nine miscarriages. Are you married? I hope you are not embarrassed. No, no, sir. How long have you been married? Five years, sir. Five years. Yes, Nine sir. miscarriages. Yes, sir. Is your husband here? No, sir. You believe in the power of God? Do you have children? Yes, no, sir. You don't have any children? Yes, sir. Place your hand on your stomach. God gave a particular word for you. Look at me, my dear. You believe in Jesus? Yes. I stretch my hands towards you. This devil of darkness that has plagued you with nine miscarriages within five years, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you that that spirit lives your life now, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command, let her go. Every legal access you have over her body is hereby broken. Broken, broken by the power of God. Broken now. Broken now. And I declare to you according to the time of life, by the power of the prophetic, go and return with your miracle children. Go and return with your miracle children. Go and return with your miracle children. So shall it be. You see, let me tell you, many of these conditions you see, I'm not, I'm not a medical doctor, but many of these conditions, like you see what is happening to this precious woman, is demonic. Is demonic. Nine miscarriages cannot be the will of God. Are we together now? Let an end come right now. Let an end come right now. Why is she here? She, she's also trusting God for... I'm going to be praying for the sick shortly. Uh, um, you may not have the time to minister and lay hands on people trusting God for the womb, fruit of the womb. But you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You must carry your children this year. In the name of Jesus. You must carry your children this year. Lay your hands. Are you married? Yes, sir. Please lay your hand on your stomach. Father, in the name of Jesus, for your glory and for your grace, this woman has cried, and in the name that is above all names, let your womb as a door be open for children right now. Be open for children right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open for children right now. According to the time of life, you return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Please return back to your seat. Demons are real. They plague people. They oppress destinies. They sit on people's destinies and don't allow people to make progress. But the Bible says, I have given you authority over snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Is that true? It says, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. 
I'm about to pray for you now. You know why I minister deliverance? Because demon spirits walk. You know how an octopus is? With many, many hands. It can touch several aspects of your life. But it is the same spirit. Oppressing finances. Touching issues here. And rather than dealing with these issues one by one. It is important that the spirit that is back of it. Must be casted out by the, by the spirit of the living God. And that's what I'm about to do. I want you to open up your heart and connect. Some of you have come here hungry. Some of you have come here confused, asking, why is my life like this? It looks like doors are not opening. You are about to know now that there are spirits sitting at the gates of your destiny, not allowing you to rise. I'm about to pray for you. For the Bible declares that upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and holiness. It says, then it says, the sons of Jacob shall possess. There is no possession without deliverance. There is no possession when that which impedes your receiving is taken away. Now, please, it's going to be a very quick one, whether you are an usher or not. The moment the power of God comes upon someone as I speak, please do well to have them come to the front or wherever it is, especially for those who are outside all the overflows. We'll do this very quickly right now. Father, we give you praise because you are the deliverer, the one who sets us free. There are wicked spirits that have sat on people's lives and destinies masquerading as problems. But in the name of Jesus, begin to bring them out, please. I declare and decree by this anointing of the Spirit of God, at the count of three, you're going to shout that name that is above all names. The name that has been exalted above thrones and dominions and every name that is named not only in this world but even that which is to come. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Spirit will begin to rest upon people and bring deliverances for them of all sorts. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, at the count of three, every demonic spirit that has tied down lives and destinies, masquerading as physical problems, you must go right now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus, let them go. Release their destinies. 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 Right now, outside, inside, everywhere. I decree and declare. Release their destinies by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please bring them out very quickly. Release their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. I tell you, fire is falling in this place. In the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare, we are still praying. Every family that is under demonic siege, kept in one place, no movement, no progress. Right now, the anointing of the Spirit is fishing out every demon spirit behind the retrogression of families are you ready to shout jesus again lord every family under attack we bring the spirits behind it under arrest at the count of three one two three shout jesus release the families now release the families now release the families now release the destinies now in the name of jesus christ open your mouth and begin to declare your release open your mouth and begin to declare by the blood of the eternal covenant i declare liberty for my life liberty for my family liberty Liberty, liberty, liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still praying. The Lord is speaking to me and he's saying, remove the mark of disfavor. There are many physically, there is nothing wrong with you. But in the realm of the spirit, 
there is a mark of this favor around you that even when you go where you should be blessed it looks like you are despised i don't know who i'm praying for but fire is coming on someone now in the name of apakatos katapata every mark of this favor at the count of three that mark must let you go now one two three let it go let it go let it go be removed from your life be removed from your destiny be removed from your life be removed from your destiny in the mighty name of jesus carry out this favor marital disfavor financial disfavor be removed from your life Hallelujah. You see, let me tell you the truth. Look up, please. This favor is a very terrible thing. When a man does not carry the favor of God in his life, you're not going to be able to make progress. The number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God. Favor with God and favor with men. I still want to pray that prayer. Don't be tired. Because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives. There are many people it should not be so. No! Your life can't be indefinitely tied down. Nobody thinking about you to help you. Nobody calling for your help. I say it again. What is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you? By the power of the Holy Ghost, I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your life right now. I clear it out of your destiny right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of rejection. The spirit of rejection. That is about the worst spirit that can rest upon anyone. Be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it now. Be delivered from it now. From it now, be delivered from it now, be delivered from it now, be delivered from it now. It's a miracle service. Whatever is making people reject you, I'm saying it again in the name of Jesus, let it be destroyed from your life. Rejecting you in office, rejecting you everywhere. In the name of Jesus, be free from it right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now hear me, please pay attention. I don't know what connection you have with the spirit of the dead. Seeing them in your dreams. Can I tell you? In most cases, all these dreams with dead people calling you and is a demonic thing it doesn't mean every dead face of course there are spirits of just men made perfect but it is the devil in most cases masquerading to reinitiate the process of untimely death let me pray for a family here or a destiny that is under siege you have been having dreams of dead people calling you you have no business listen the living and the dead have nothing in common i pray for you by the fire that is of the holy ghost oh death oh death oh death oh death, oh death. release the families now release god's people now oh grave take your hands away from their destinies Take your hands away from their families. Take your hands away. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. In the name of Jesus Christ.
for all those in front here I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit the spirits that oppress you I command them to leave you now I command them to leave you now I bring you liberty by the power of the blood of Jesus There is a family here. God is bringing deliverance particularly to the ladies. There is a spirit that never allowed the ladies. I'm seeing the ladies to move forward. Even when they settle down, they must return back to their husband's homes. I don't know who that is, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is telling me the ladies, it is like the, 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 the female part of the family. I command that spirit because you came here tonight. I don't care how long that covenant has stayed. It is hereby broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Please help them at the back. Broken now. hallelujah broken by the power of the Holy Spirit release them now and then the spirit that makes women the men in a, in a family and turns the men is like it reverses it when it has to do with responsibility and provision the wife is the husband and then the husband is just a figurehead there I decree and declare that demonic anomaly we exchange it back to its proper place we exchange it back to its proper place hear me hear me any man here that is not able to cater for your family by the anointing of the spirit I empower your hand to be productive I empower your hand to be productive the honor and the dignity that comes with being a man let it speak in your life and I pray for every woman here that you have been carrying an extra luggage that you have no business carrying based on God's order in the name of Jesus for your sake may God empower your husband for your sake may God empower the men in your life hallelujah I'm about to pray for the sick but I'm seeing someone what we call skin disease you have some serious I don't know what it is that is affecting your skin quite an embarrassing condition the Lord Jesus Christ I'm going to be praying for the sick right now I believe in the healing ministry a skin problem something just eating up your skin Bring this lady for me. Tap this girl going back. My dear, come. I want to pray for you. Where are you from? In the name of Jesus. Look at me. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit where those who have gone ahead of you, where they could not reach. In the name of Jesus, I place an anointing upon you. You will get there and surpass it by the Spirit. You will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit. I say it again, you will get there and you will surpass it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, please return back to your seat. Listen, provided you are under this grace, you must rise. In the name of Jesus Christ. By all means, you must rise. Let's pray for the sick. Terminal diseases. I want to start my prayer by praying for those with hepatitis. Listen, there is a reason why sometimes God puts these names. It's not just a story to mention and make it look serious. I, I honestly have not studied the consequences of hepatitis. I don't know what it really does. I just know it's not a good thing. And that is more than enough to cast it out of anybody who has it. Listen, place your hand where you are trusting God for healing. Those of you who came with sick people, now is the time to reach out to them. And those who are connecting, 
for the sick or you are sick yourself I'm about to pray for you I believe in the healing power of Jesus I tell you there is such a strong healing anointing why do we pray for the sick I have taught you that sickness is a portion of death being ministered to you because there is a threshold level of health your body must have for your spirit to remain in it and if your body becomes deteriorated beyond that threshold point your spirit will be forced to live in what you call death now it is not the living of the spirit that is a problem but when you are done with your assignment and it lives with honor and nobility that is fine we call it a good old age but where the devil wants to bring it as a strategy to end your life because you see if you do not have a functional body your spirit has no legitimate ground to remain in the earth for you to be able to dwell in the earth legitimately you must be a spirit and you must have a healthy functional body so every time the lord ministers to the sick it is his determination to keep you in health and to promote longevity in your life don't tolerate any sickness in your body we thank god for all our doctors our medical team we have a brilliant medical team that is, is doing well you know and i have taught you again that doctors and medical people are not anti-faith we have taught for many years that you either choose doctors or choose the power of god no no even jesus is called the great physician not only the great healer the great physician so i'm going to pray for you now here's what i want you to do very quickly as soon as i pray for you some of you whilst you were under the anointing having all kinds of experiences many supernatural things have happened to you when we take testimonies by the way it's not just testimonies for healing alone there are those who whilst ministering deliverance and ministering all kinds of things visible changes supernatural manifestations have happened when it is time to take testimonies you quickly run out and join those who are healed hallelujah now when i pray for you here's your own part of the your own part of the faith equation you believe and you receive by faith then when i tell you to you check yourself you do what you couldn't do the moment you found out that there is a miracle a miracle has happened whether you are in the overflow outside or any of the overflows down to the basement or in the main auditorium or following online remember our global family you are you are participating fully in every way make sure that we know what has happened to you we're going to take a few testimonies and then we'll pray over the request and make prophetic declarations tonight so let your hearts be open do not allow yourself to return back with terminal diseases demonic illnesses you hear the story of the mama that was brought here just her eyes began to swell and all kinds of satanic things lay your hands and let's trust God for healing Jesus the healer it is true that he heals I know you are here healing in your glory I know you are here precious Holy Spirit I know you are here you are here to take us higher I know you are here precious Holy Spirit father in the name of Jesus you gave us the ability to pray for the sick and you said that as we minister to them they will recover there are many people right now who have all kinds of terminal diseases demonic conditions in the name of Jesus the one who sent us I declare that every spirit of infirmity that is behind any health condition right now let that spirit be gone forever mm. right now let that spirit be gone forever let that spirit be gone forever I stretch my hands towards you and I declare right now every sick body from the crown of your head down to the ah my god 
satiata. As I just said, from the crown of your head, I just felt a surge of power. Just a strong healing anointing going through someone's body, bringing cleansing, 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 cleansing of every demonic thing. Right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Hepatitis. In the name of Jesus, be healed of it now. Amen. HIV, be healed now. Amen. Cancer, be healed now. Amen. I'm hearing in my spirit hormonal imbalance. I don't know who has that condition, but the power of God is touching you right now. I declare be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hormonal imbalance, be healed now. Amen. Deaf ears, whether total deafness or partial deafness, be opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blind eyes, be opened now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anybody here who could not walk, you came and you could not walk using an aid in the name of Jesus I empower your limbs begin to walk now in the mighty name of Jesus kidney problems I'm hearing in the spirit help them kidney problems be healed right now there's someone you had something that looked like a lymph node around your your lower abdominal area and it refused to go in the name of Jesus I command that growth let it disappear now I'm seeing in a vision somebody's tongue I don't know if it's that the tongue is cracked this is what I'm seeing it's like the tongue is you know how it's like you're shredding something I don't know what condition that is but in the name of Jesus I bring you life and healing right now severe bleeding it comes to an end now I'm hearing cancer of the rectum I'm not a doctor whether you are here or following online cancer is like cancer of the rectum this is what I'm hearing in the name of Jesus I use this and any other variation of cancer we command those cancer cells in the body of any of his victim to begin to die now to begin to die now hallelujah there's someone you have a boil inside your armpit not around inside your armpit an uncomfortable boil i don't know if you've taken any medical steps but the lord is telling me he's bringing you healing right now he's bringing you healing right now i'm hearing a word in my spirit clogged arteries clogged arteries in the name of jesus christ I'm going to meet the doctors one time to teach me all these things so that when I'm saying it, I understand what I'm saying. Clogged arteries. I, but I believe that that it's a very ster whatever clogs any part of your body for whatever reason is already sentencing you to death. You know that one. In the name of Jesus, I command clogged arteries be open now. In fact, God is showing me someone, um, your heart your heart is not fully functional it's affecting your breathing i don't know what that condition is now but it's a serious some sort of cardiovascular condition i stretch my hands now every part that has been blocked or clogged i command it to be open now I command it to be open now. Hallelujah. 
I'm hearing something very interesting. The Lord is telling me, I don't know why he's not telling me the nation, but he's saying we should pray for a particular African nation so that there would not be a resurgence of COVID. A particular African nation. In the name of Jesus, I know we are praying for the sick, but since the word has come, we pray particularly for the nations of Africa. We already drove that demonic spirit out of this continent. We close the doors of the continent again. In the name of Jesus, there will not be a resurgence of any, any news of COVID in Africa again. In the name of Jesus, gastritis. The Lord is healing someone of gastritis by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's someone, I'm seeing you are bleeding severely from your nose and your mouth. Severely from your nose. I'm just looking at a vision. I'm seeing blood just coming out. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but I curse that spirit right now in Jesus' name. I once prayed over this condition that God is showing me and I'm seeing that God is showing me again. Somebody, you, it's like you regurgitate food. When you eat, you literally regurgitate it out again to eat it. I don't know who that person is. Is there someone like that? Please, let me pray for you, particularly that person. I want to quickly come out. Quickly, we're still praying for the sick. If there's someone like that, quickly, please. Can you imagine this kind of thing? Beautiful lady like this and this demonic thing wants to plague her destiny. All of you. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Thou art welcome. Allah Shabra Sadi Salatia. Hallelujah. Satan, in the name of Jesus, if it was not so in the beginning, then we decree and declare. I don't know what the medical condition is where people regurgitate food out again. But I know that it is a wicked, demonic, and uncomfortable condition. I stretch my hands. Don't be embarrassed, my dear people who have come out. This A miracle service is like going to a hospital. There's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. We're a family of love and we're a family that are determined to see the word of God speak over someone's life. That lady, this lady, tap that lady for me. Yes. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. I curse that spirit out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This, your own is not even over this issue I'm praying for. I command that spirit. Huh? Near success syndrome. I curse it from your life. In the name of Jesus. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look at over one case, just one case that is called. Look at the precious people. Are you seeing that sickness does not know race, age, level of enlightenment? Thank you first for the courage to come out and receive from the Lord. You're not going to waste your time. Now I stretch my hands towards you. Alongside every other person, I don't know if that is a digestive problem, but I use it as a point of contact for any other problem the power of god is coming upon you people in front now in the name of jesus i declare be healed now i release the power of the holy spirit now 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 be healed now that condition stops now i set you free let there be a correction in the name of jesus christ let there be a correction in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus. Let there be a correction in the name of Jesus.
Now, I want to pray for Lums. God bless you. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. We are still praying for the sick. Take note for those who have been healed. We'll soon call you now for your testimony. I want to pray. I'm seeing several... Um, what's the name of this condition? The neck deficiency of iodine. Goiter. There's somebody who has this goiter in the name of Jesus Christ. Your neck is already even, it looks like your neck is even swelling already by the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't know where you are, but in the name of Jesus Christ. This woman holding a picture, run, come. Where are you coming from? Ogun State. Huh? Ogun State. Are you sick? Yes. What's I, wrong? I had a car ac um, accident on the 1st of January. My bum bum tore into two. Look at me. Mom. You came here with your mom? Yes. It's, I, I, it's okay. We're praying for them. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why I, I looked at you and the Lord just beckoned that I called you. Can you imagine that kind of accident and that, that kind of injury? I can imagine the kind of pain that you're going through. In the name of Jesus, now be healed. Be healed. Madam, look at me. Do what I'm doing. Just do what I'm doing. If you feel pain, don't have. Huh? You want to? You want to try running? Run. Any pain? Any? Give her the mic. She had an accident. Come on, are you giving Jesus praise? Look at this. When was the when was the accident? On the first of January, twenty twenty three. Medically, you went to the hospital. Yes, I'm bothered. The bomb bomb tore into two. And right now, you can move without pain. Yes, sir. Look at this. Yes, sir. But you see, the most important prayer. Thank God for this healing. But the most important prayer is this demonic oppression will not rise a second time. And we declare you will be perfectly healed. Amen. You will be perfectly healed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I decree and declare high blood pressure. Anyone who is suffering from high blood pressure, whether as, as inheritance or something that just started from you, I declare be healed right now. Amen. Be healed right now. Someone, the nails, the nails on your feet are rotting. I'm sorry to use that expression, but it's already squeezing like, a, what they call it now, is it an athlete's feet or something like that? The nails, the nails on your feet are beginning to rot in. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now. <laughs> and the Lord is also asking me to pray for someone because with what I see, your teeth, your entire, you know, your teeth is getting weak, weak and weak. And is something that is eating up your gums or something affecting you. In fact, you are suffering from very intense, like a um, mouth odor. It's not like you're a careless person, but this is a serious dental problem. And you need help. You need the power of God. I decree and declare over you be healed right now. <laughs> Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus who died and rose again, for you and for those who you are lifting up in prayer, that also includes those who are fallen from hospitals. You can't believe how many hospitals in this nation and across the world air these miracle services over their patients as a commitment. There are people right now on sick beds, you know, whose family members are just connecting by faith. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now. 
lump in the right breast, I command it to disappear now. For someone, I don't know what surgery you had on your legs, but it's like something went wrong. This is what I'm seeing. I'm declaring that whatever went wrong with that surgery, let it be corrected right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm going to give you two prayer points. And whilst you are praying, please hear me. I want everyone to check yourself. The moment you find out that you could do what you couldn't do before, you can now do, or there's a, a visible miracle, I want you to leave your seat very boldly and confidently and come and stand in front here. We'll take a few testimonies while we're praying. We'll do this very fast because there are still some other things that we have to do. So if you are coming out for testimony, whether for healing or any other supernatural miracle, that has happened to you here please leave the, your seat very boldly while we're praying you can come and continue your prayer here in front we'll take a few testimonies if you need to check yourself at the medical stand the medical stand is just at the back you can do well to go there let the doctors check you verify you and for those who have been healed we'll take a few testimonies very quickly whilst we're doing that please rise let me give you two prayer points we're going to pray and then we'll take a few testimonies make sure you don't sit back once you have been touched check yourself you can call your loved ones who you stood in faith for please make sure that you they have um, evidences of complete healing or healing then you make sure that you come to the front very quickly and for those who are coming if they are coming from outside or any of the overflows please allow them give them the liberty to come just guide them while they come god bless you say after me in the name of jesus Shout it with faith. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit supernatural restoration of time and of things over my life right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Supernatural restoration of time supernatural restoration of things is someone praying those for testimonies begin to march forward supernatural restoration of time of things supernatural restoration someone is praying this prayer will work wonders in the life of many people restoration Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your lifting has come. Oh, your rising has come. In Jesus name I pray in Jesus name I pray are you ready for the second prayer point say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost every word assigned to announce me everyone assigned to help me everyone assigned to help me find visibility I command their ministries now open your mouth and pray it takes men used by God to help men rise someone is praying everyone assigned by the Spirit of the Living God for my rising for my visibility Shapra kate bela katos kotopranda ke bela katos 
Kraska baragata preska vede sotina kash. Agrakata baranda baratos koto preska belekota. Shafreska bereda katoshka lebrenda geta. A sign for my rising. If you are Joseph, pray over Pharaoh that Pharaoh will be used by God for your rising. If you are Daniel, pray for Nebuchadnezzar to be used by God for your rising. Is someone praying? Where are the helpers? Joseph of Arimathea, Simeon's of Cyrene, the Naomi's. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. He said, tell the people that they go forward. I taught you last week that progress is not just moving around. Your last step or your next step must be ahead of your last step for it to be called progress. If your next step is equal to your last step, that is not progress. There is motion, there is movement, but it is not progress. Hallelujah. Let me add that one prayer point and then we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll begin to collect, collate and collect our prayer requests. Those who are coming for testimonies, please allow them, even if we're not able to take everything, at least let it be a witness before God that um, they were touched by the mighty hand of God. Are we together? Someone is going to prophesy that throughout this year from now, that the step you take next must be higher than the one you're taking now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, are you ready to pray? Say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Every step I take will be a step higher than the previous one spiritually financially and in every other aspect of my life open your mouth and pray no marking time no marking time no marking time constructive advancement progress by the spirit and in the spirit In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, please be seated gloriously for a few minutes. Let's celebrate Jesus for these testimonies. Hallelujah. Now, testimonies are a revelation of what God is able to do in and through men. As you take these testimonies, let it build your faith. But while that is happening, please, everyone, pass your prayer request to the last person by your left or your right to make it easy for the ushers to receive. And those online, keep sending in your prayer requests right now. And um, we're also going to pray over the request. We'll be praying shortly for our request. Let's take our testimonies. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. Listen very carefully and let's glorify Jesus. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Um, I've been having back pain for more than 10 years. I've done physiotherapy. I've taken injections and so many other things. But it just doesn't go. It comes and goes. My entire spine, I couldn't stand very well before. But as I came today, I was feeling pain at the back, and my leg was paining me. And since January, my toes have not really been moving very well. But when I was to pray, I keyed in, and now I'm not feeling any pain. The pain is gone. Yes. Check yourself. No pain whatsoever. No, I'm not feeling any pain. Can you give Jesus praise? That miracle remains permanent in your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. God bless you, my dear. Hallelujah. Yes. So um, I work for long hours. I sit to work. So um, last year, last year I noticed my back started paining me. So I thought it's because I sit for long hours to work. So sometimes I have to lie down and continue working. Yes. The back pain is sometimes very terrible. And then when I came here, I came here with that pains. Even when I was sitting down, it was paining me ter um, terribly. So when Apostle prayed and immediately after the prayer, 
I was shocked. I, I moved my hand. I couldn't feel it. I had to even bend down to pick my water Completely. to be Completely. Bend down. Check it now. Check it now. Gone. Completely gone. gone. Celebrate Jesus, Koinonia. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Yes, please. Well, uh, Apostle, she has a medical condition. I will not go into the depth of mentioning. So I'll allow her to speak. Go ahead, my dear. Koinonia, good evening. Um... I, I used to have, like sometime last year, I developed a skin condition, demographia. It's basically skin writing, like um, you feel intense itching for no just cause. Okay. And then when you apply pressure, when you try to scratch, you have welts. It's like urticaria, but on a higher level. So um, I've been taking antihistamines since last year. And when I take it, I get relief, but then it doesn't last. Mm. I have to keep what taking it now? every day. Yes. So today I forgot to take my drugs and then I, am, I had to get water. But even as I got the water, I forgot to take the drugs again until I finished the water. So into the service, I started having itching. It came again. It's as if like, it's as if there's fire in my body and I just have to start itching. So I now, when you now mention skin conditions, I now told God that I can't leave because I've been coming with it. Is that a miracle? Yeah, I'm seeing that woman walking. She could not walk. What happened to her? Come. Oh dear, lift it up and walk. <laughs> Koinoni, are you celebrating what Jesus is doing? You couldn't do this. How long? Four years. Four years. Yes. Where are you coming from? From Joss. Goodness. Yes. Please walk, madam. Just turn around and let me speak over your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, you see, let me tell you the truth. You have to come. You have to put yourself in the shoes of people who are oppressed to know the, the sheer inconvenience that they go through. You'll be surprised that this, this is still, she's still trusting God for perfection a bit, but you may be surprised at what this relief already, that she does not even have to use the walking aid. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord perfect you. Completely perfect you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Pastor Jake, so sorry for interrupting. Yes, please. My so, dear, straight to the point. Yes, what so happened during, to you now? As, as you were praying, I keyed into the prayer, and all of a sudden, I felt a calmness, like cool, breeze, and I'm here to give up Completely. To God. In the Amen. name of Jesus, it will never return again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then secondly, um, I was... I've been praying about divine direction and I, I go to God in prayer because I have a choice to make between somewhere in Nasarawa state and somewhere else in the east. So I was asking God for divine direction. I asked the Holy Spirit to help mm. me hear him while Apostle was preaching. So as he was preaching, he mentioned Nasarawa state in particular. And I believe that as my word and I accept it and I follow it in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those who regurgitate. He's yes. 23, year, 23 years old. He has been regurgitating since when he was a child. Now, after you pray, the prayer, he went outside to take something and he couldn't regurgitate. It's gone he completely. Healed by the power of the Most High. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to him again. Yes, please. Chronic also for over two years, healed by the power of all God. Also healed. Three Let's years, celebrate Jesus. Three it years, never... chronic also too. Okay, yes. it never returns again in Jesus' name. She had an accident five years ago and broke her knee, so she couldn't kneel. While you were praying, the power of God came upon her, and then she could How kneel long? down now. It's more than 10 years, and it's a family thing. My daddy had it, my brother also had issues with his leg, my sister too. You broke your leg? Yes, sir. For 10 years? Yes, sir. Run now. She Check. also couldn't kneel. Now she could kneel now. Try to kneel. Any pain? Stand. Are you, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, you are not only healed, you are delivered from that demonic curse. It will never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. I've known that pain 
For over three months now, he's been healed. For three months. Yes. It never returns to you in, again in Jesus' name. Yes. She please. had a bone scar in her legs. They, they, they've checked on you, don't they? They've checked at the medical stand. She has a a scar, a bone, a bone. I had I had a burn. Um, so it's been really painful, and I couldn't do certain movements. So when you called people for natural stick, I felt fell under the anointing, and I hit my. Wounds. That's where you are from. Was, I'm half Nasarawa. My mom is from Nasarawa. Oh, I see. So it was very painful when I hit my wound, and like I could barely stand. So by the time you started praying for, um, you know, the sick, yes. I felt the pain left. And yesterday I was trying to jump in my room because I've been trusting God to just take it away, and I couldn't. But now, like, look at this. <laughs> Amazing. It will never, never, never return to you again in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Let's take two more from there. Yes, gone pain, gone. You made mention of those who have problems with their teeth, gone. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus, healing for you right now. Two of them. Two of them. In sir. Jesus' name, you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. These children, what happened to them? They all had pains in their legs. Pains. Pains. Pain in the neck, pain in the leg, they are all healed. In the name I of... Would, I was having a um, neck ache, but as you prayed for me, I was normal having the neck ache again. It's turn, gone. turn your neck now. Turn your neck. God bless you, eh? He's spoken on behalf of all the others. In Jesus' name, I declare for all our children, you are perfected. No devil will touch you in the name of Jesus. Supernaturally protected in Jesus' name. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Thank you. All right. So, Apostle, you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding someone with a heart condition. Yes, sir. And this woman came here with that. You came here with a heart. Yes, please. Yes. I was born with sickle cell. So, last year, I was diagnosed with heart failure because I couldn't breathe well. And I have pains in my chest and bloating. And I cannot breathe well. Um, even when I came today, I came with pains in my body. I came from Kaduna. I have painkillers in my bag right now. But when because you, of the, the condition. Yes, I always, I'm, I always have pains in my body. Okay, what happened now? I just felt, my body just started shaking. And I felt warm, like I poured warm water on my body. Yes. And that's it. Um, I don't have palpitations anymore. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare holistic perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's celebrate Jesus. Apostle, you gave another clear word of prophecy yes, sir. and insight regarding his case. So you spoke about somebody with the cancer of the rectum. You? Yes, sir. Verified? Of the cancer, not yet verified, but I came with the swollen feet. Uh, you Very big. You can't assume it's cancer now. No, no, cancer was verified. I did a, a oh, scan. Oh, the cancer is verified. Yes, it was verified. Yes, sir. Ah. So what he means by not verified, he means for his healing, he oh, needs okay. to check. Okay. Yes. He has to go to the toilet and check. Oh, no, but, but the, the, the cancer, can you imagine, how can a young man like this, you see how demonic, you see how I was going to say, yeah, demonic Satan is. You see how, how, how terrible, can you imagine? I mean, this, this, uh, this guy is just starting out in life and this satanic, condition of of cancer and sir he also came here his legs were sold in fact i had to look at his leg properly truly just to double check look at that and it's gone now it's going down he came with a swollen foot and place your hand there father perfect this amen you will not die from cancer amen we cost that demon in the name of Jesus, you will go to the hospital and it will be verified that you are perfectly whole. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Amen. Let's celebrate Jesus for him. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. Yes. I came here. Anytime I eat food, I remove it. Anytime I eat even biscuits or I take drinks, I remove it. Whenever I'm eating beside my sisters, they drive me away that I'm eating food and removing it. So you called out people that eat, eat food and remove it. So I came out. After that, I went back. I bought this biscuit. You and bought I this biscuit? Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Koinonia, don't be too used to the supernatural. Look at this. I tried eating the biscuit now. I just and it's gone. Now, you see, ladies and gentlemen, some of us, look at me. 
the problem that affected our self-worth started at this age you see that you may not know what this kind of miracle is already a miracle to everybody but to these precious ones you see imagine what it will mean driving them as a young lady growing up now how old are you darling 14. you see that now this is a teenager and then driving her in school friends whatever this the devil will cash in on this opportunity and this lady will grow into adulthood not believing in herself and believing every rubbish and garbage that society says my dear listen to me it is not only that jesus has healed you you are a precious lady don't listen to that nonsense don't be sad at those who maybe your loved ones or whatever they are just doing what is human huh? but in jesus name we are praying for you never forget anybody who tries to tell you anything tell yourself i am a champion say it i am a champion say it again i am a champion say it one more time i am a champion bless, bless you god bless you darling thank you This Good evening, Koinonia. My name is Favor Edowu. Anytime I'm sleeping, anytime I'm sleeping, my head will start paining me. If I shake it, it will pain me. But now it's no more paining me again. I don't know what is making me happy, whether it's a miracle or the intelligence of the child. Some of us at this age, you could not even read and write yet. You were still a prayer point. Hallelujah. My little one, how old are you? I'm nine years. Wow. You are a very smart girl, eh? In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for Koinonia children in one minute. Just stretch your hands wherever. And if there's any child near you, lay your hands in one minute. We're not wasting our time. No parent prays for a useless child. No parent prays for a thief. No parent prays for an armed robber or a prostitute or a troublemaker. It is the consolation of every parent to have children that outdo them all wise i want you to declare even if your biological children are not here use these ones as a point of contact we pray for koinonia children they are taught of the lord and great is their peace in the name of jesus they grow like the cedar in lebanon they are intelligent in the name of jesus and we declare perfection for this little one favor in jesus name we pray amen and amen god bless you by the way um the exercise book and the jotters, has it, have they been shared? Okay, so we're going to do them now. Make sure, in order of priority, every child in this place, they should get the exercise book or the jotters first before the adults. Please, this is an instruction. Adults, some of you, are we together? So all, don't collect for any child. If the child is not here, then... The day they come, you, they will collect, please, so that we don't have all kinds of misbehavior in the house of God. Once you don't have a child here, please, I'm announcing, don't harass the protocol, please, and please, and please, in the name of Jesus. But for all children, beginning from my little one here, in fact, go and bring one for me. I will give that favor myself. Bring quickly, quickly, please. Hallelujah. My apologies, Pastor Jakes, for keeping you waiting. Yes. You see, we'll keep doing for these children what some of us didn't have the opportunity to enjoy. Some of you, all you had all through your life was rejection and pain till you gave your life to Jesus. So these ones now, where's the little one that went away? Let her come. Except if she's gone out. Is she here? Baby favor, where are you? Come. Is she here? She's gone. Where are her parents? Release the girl to come and receive her blessing now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyway, while she's coming, these two, my dear, come. Come. May God bless you. Eh? Bring the jotters now, my people, or the books, whichever. How old are you? Nine. Ten. God bless you. In Jesus' name, you are a brilliant child, eh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Exercise books will do them more. Jotters will not really help children. They are in school. Okay. I gave you one. Okay, let me give you one so it will go around. This is your own, eh? God bless you. Where is yes? This is our beautiful baby favor. 
So I'll give you two, eh? This is your own. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Who asked you to be an adult? It's, it's already too late, ladies and gentlemen. You've had your time, you've grown. If you misuse it, use what is in front of you to correct it. But let us give this our children the best. Yes, please, go ahead. All right, so Apostle, just um, quickly for them, they both had problems with their legs. So they with their legs. In the name of Jesus, sorry, darlings, we may not have the time for you to announce that, eh? but in Jesus' name, we declare perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's celebrate our children. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. I've had difficulty reading small characters for over a year now. Reading small characters, yes. okay? Yeah. While you pray, I laid my hands on my eyes and. And right now, yes, you are able that. to see yes, sir, very clearly. Yes, sir. Let's give Jesus praise. We do not trivialize the hand of God. Yes. Apostle, this man had a dream of people shooting him and he woke up limping. He's a security man, and so because of that, he lost the job. So while you were ministering. Did you hear that testimony? He had a dream, people were shooting him, he's a security man, and he woke up physically and limping. lost his... Limping. Limping. So because of that, his job was terminated. Oh dear. And now, right now... Now while you are ministering, it's, it could work fairly Look at this. Now. It's no longer Come. limping. Hallelujah. That's already half of the miracle. Come, let me pray the other one. If your job was terminated because of your limping, then we need to pray that you get another job, eh? a better one. In the name of Jesus, do you believe in the power of prophecy? I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Between now and next miracle service, return with your testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Congratulations. You pray for partial deafness. His right ear has been, you couldn't hear. I couldn't hear for this ear for the past three weeks. The ear has been completely blocked. What happened? All of a sudden, during your ministration, you mentioned deaf ear be healed now and although i felt this sensation on my ear the yes ear is completely open in the name of jesus it remains open forever forever yes please next person very quickly mouth order since last year is healed down okay, yes daddy um on september last year i started uh, noticing after my prayers midnight prayers um in the morning i will start uh, um, having mouth, mouth order, order. Yes, that's all right we'll pray for you in the name of jesus it is perfected right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's have one more now, from this, here. This testimony, the doctor will help us too. Yes, okay, let us. Good evening, Koinonia. She had breast cancer, and break, breast cancer, once it's metastasized to the lungs, they will have difficulty in breathing. Yes. Most times we support them with oxygen in the hospital, and they don't stand for long. Mama here came with breast cancer, and it has metastasized to the lungs. Before now, she can't stand for this long. But now she can, she's been standing since she came in for her testimony. But she will, might have to go back and do this test a, to a, confess. A test again. Yes, sir. Everybody stretch your hands towards Mama or to the screen that you can see in the name of Jesus. Mama, we declare that you will not die. Yes. Medically, it may look like it's getting to a very disturbing position, but we reverse it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. The fullness of your days you will live. The Lord who granted you the strength to stand this long, may he grant you the grace to live to the fullness of your days. And that not in a hospital. You will be at home with your children in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be perfected. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Let's have, um, have we taken that testimony? No, no. She, she stands, but she doesn't feel any sensation on her leg okay. since last year, except yes. when she touches the leg. That's when she can feel that she has a leg. Wow. But while you are ministering, now she, she can feel the sensation on her leg. You can feel your legs now. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's take one more. Let's take one more from there. Heart palpitation healed. So um, when, when I came, I wrote my prayer request that God healed my heart. Both my parents and all my ancestors have high blood pressure and I've been struggling with high blood pressure for quite a little bit. It took crash, it took go up, but it had been stabilized at 130 something. But when he said, if you have a heart condition or whatnot, I felt something like a pain going up my throat and then I sneezed it out. So I went to go and check my blood pressure. I can't remember the last time my blood pressure was 120 something over. It completely crashed. Give completely. Jesus praise. Every 
every manifestation of negative inheritance it stops with you in the name of Jesus God bless you Let's, let's take a few here and then we'll just wrap Please, up with Apostle, it. we have testimonies pointing from the online community. Wow, so amazing, okay. My father, we have testimonies from Tyler. Tyler says, I had costochronditis and couldn't breathe properly. After connecting online by faith as prayers were being made, yes. I can now breathe properly without pain. Amazing, Glory let's give Jesus. Jesus praise. This one is from T from Canada. T says, Apostle said, boil in the armpit. It was me. I am healed. I am returning all glory to God. Hallelujah. This is from Grace from Cameroon. She says that while Apostle was mentioning uh, someone with cuts on their tongue, mm. that earlier during the service, she had gone to take juice from the fridge and drank some, and she experienced the pain. But immediately you called out the word of knowledge. She said she began to receive it by faith, and aunt's came up on her she felt like ants on her tongue okay plenty of them and, and then right it, now she's that healed. Calm, and then all her injuries are sealed up mm. praise god this is from Prempe isabella from ghana she says i thank god for healing me of her hormonal imbalance also my period that has ceased flowing since 2019 started flowing again during service my god look at this we declare over the online community and those who are following from across the globe in the name of Jesus as it is happening right here. Let it happen. Let it reproduce itself in your homes, your offices, your various viewing centers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. We'll take two or three more, then I'll do a general prayer. My name is Precious Egbegi. I've been having this tooth cyst in my tooth, my right tooth, for about two years, since 2020. I cannot chew and I, can, I have challenges sleeping in the night. So now, when Apostle prophesied about those having tooth challenges, now I can grind my teeth. I can grind my teeth very well. In the name of Jesus, go and enjoy your liberty by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. My, my name is Chizara. Anytime, anytime I'm coughing, I used to have chest pain. Anytime you're coughing, you have chest pain. Yes. And right now? It's gone. Gone. It goes completely in the name of Jesus Christ. So both of them were healed of pain in the stomach. She had a sharp pain here. At the sharp side. pain and you too. In the name of Jesus, we declare healing for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Perfection for your bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Let the next set be the last. So she was healed of My name is Catherine. So... I can't stand for a long time, like 10 minutes. If I just wanted to stand, and then I can't to even bend down, I can't bend what down. What was the issue? What As happened? in my leg here. Yes. So the thing usually disturbed me. At so Apostle, she used to have, she has waist pain. Okay, very, waist, very waist pain, I yes, see. And you've been healed. And right now you've been healed. Yes. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now for sake of time, I stretch my hands over everyone here those who have been healed, verified by our precious medical team, in the name of Jesus, it remains permanent. It remains permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me encourage all of you, even though you are not able to testify now, please do well. You can always register your testimonies. The media team will be glad to share it. And then any koinonia service would be an opportunity for you to share. May God bless you. Let's celebrate them. Give them a big, big God bless you. Hallelujah. How many of you are yet to submit your prayer requests? If you are yet to submit your prayer requests, please indicate by a wave of hand. There will be someone who will pick it up from you immediately. Is there anyone, any such people? Very quickly. Then let me request that we all stand. Please stretch your hands as we always do over the request. We are praying now. If there are still others, please bring them very quickly so that we we'll pray. Someone begin to speak already. Speak already. Declare over your requests by the power of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and begin to prophesy over your prayer requests. Prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit that in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, Sabrata ke parako shada vrende ke beleka tosiata, skapata parakatoshka labrende ske 
Kranda baga baga tosa davraska debeleke tosh Manta prata ke paraka toska davrade ke debeleke ta Shali ke bereso ziate ke parandos ke vene kosha taliada Embre ke debere ke debeke tosso do protos ko do bala Shaparaka ta parada bala ka davraska debeleke debrende ke das In the name of Jesus I lay my hands upon this request Let every request here be turned into a testimony let every request here be turned to a testimony. Let every request here be turned to a testimony. Supernatural testimonies from across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus. From across the nations of the earth in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, shout a loud amen. Supernatural breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Supernatural connections in the name of Jesus. Supernatural restorations in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the privilege of God's grace over every request here represented that by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may the God that answers speedily begin to answer for you from tonight. There are people here who wrote testimonies before now. I mean, they wrote very serious requests. You see, the thing about the request here is that you, you have the liberty of your privacy with God. Nobody reads it. From here, once it is prayed, it's collated and burnt. So this is a representation of your faith and your desire. And remember what Mark eleven twenty four says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it i decree and declare because you have written as a sign of faith believing therefore may your hands receive them as answers we convert every prayer request here to an answer in the name of jesus most of the answers here will require the ministry of men in partnership with the holy spirit we call for such men now in the name of Jesus Christ. No one here who has written his request will return back with shame. I say it again. No one who has written his or her request here will return with shame. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for those of you who have written for your loved ones, some of them do not even know that you've written this for them. In Jesus' name, wherever they are across this nation and across the globe, may the God of heaven locate them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to you that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm about to speak over your life. We're wrapping up already. I'd like you to receive this prophetic word. You've been encouraged this year to be opened. Now, this exercise books, we're going to share them. They are all free. It's a gift just for you to have. Some will get exercise books. Others will get jotters. I think most will get jotters because our children will swallow up our exercise book so the jotters are beautiful just as a point of contact and to help you i wish i had one so that they see what it looks like can you give me one protocol if you have one so it's my gift to you it's not for sale anybody if we catch you selling this thing we are going to arrest you i'm saying it straight to the point so there should be order in the house of god you have received it freely we shouldn't hear that anybody went somewhere and is trying to sell this koinonia books no very beautiful and it has prophetic quotes at the back just for your your blessing so this is powerful lovely quotes at the back let me read one for you it says popularity is people knowing you while impact is people being changed by your life this is one of it there and um, all decisions come with consequences you do not choose consequences. You only make choices and then your choices determine the consequences that follow. So this will remind you, just granting you wisdom. Father, we declare that these are blessed 
in the name of Jesus. As many who will have them uh, here, who hopefully will send some across the nation so our families scattered in diaspora, we declare that it will bless everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Please, if you are not able to get the jota, or I, I presume so many people would get, um, if you are not able to get, be patient. I'm sure that more orders will be made. It's just that it will be difficult to get it. It's a gift, so it's not a right. If you cannot get it, then just wish whoever got it well. And the most important thing is to receive the grace that, the grace that, um, that has come with it. Praise God. Let me speak over your life. Prophecy is powerful because it creates. Creates. Prophecy can create an enviable destiny. Prophecy can rewrite negatives out of a man's life and turn that which is supposed to be for shame to become instruments of blessings. Um, I hope that in the weeks to come, I will share with us and update us some of the remarkable things that God is doing in this ministry already. But I can tell you, listen, I've seen God move. I've seen God bring favor. But um, I'm just waiting for the due time to tell you some of the things that are lined up. I can only tell you this, that what God is doing in this ministry right now is simply fearful. It is the mighty, mighty hand of God upon us, through us, in us. And what God is doing and uh, we thank God for his grace we owe it to you to update you and when the time is right and we put everything in place we'll be glad to give you all the necessary updates but just to rejoice in knowing that God is already moving mightily nobody wants to belong to a dead vision nobody wants to belong to a vision that does not move does not have life newness is a sign of life are we together now so as I speak over your life, I told you that to mean that if God is lifting this ministry, it means you should not be at the same level. Therefore, I declare over you, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the favor of God rest on your head. You know, I told you that the number one reason why people succeed is favor. If this is the only grace you receive and live, I guarantee you, you will return back rejoicing. Yeah. One more time, I'm saying it, especially for those who have not seen this grace work in you. I pray for you. This is a house and a life that God has shown favor in an unusual dimension. May that grace rest upon you. Yeah. May that grace rest upon you. Yeah. May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. From across the seven continents of the earth, anyone who has been mandated to reach you for your rising, whatever barrier is stopping them from reaching you, I take it out of the way now. I take it out of the way now. Number three, the grace for visibility. Whatever has closed your glory so that your works and your excellence is not seen, especially by those who can celebrate God with you and even re reward you, I declare may that grace cause your face to be seen. May that grace cause your voice to be heard in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, the riches and the blessings that are connected to every territory, in this case Abuja here, or whatever territory you are coming from, I declare, the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all, that even the king is fed by the increase of the field, your portion in this land, or wherever you are represented, I command it to locate you, I command it to gravitate towards you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Number four, I pray for your family. If it is well with you and it is not well with your family, then it is not well with you. I pray for you, all your siblings, your parents, your loved ones, all who are connected to you by natural descent, by blood, and by responsibility. None of them will go down. 
none of them will go down none of them will fall by the wayside in the name of Jesus Christ hear me koinonia let a mark and a mantle of honor let it rest upon your head let it rest upon your head let it rest upon your destiny everyone who is in ministry here and it looks like ministry is barren unfruitful you love god you are serving him with integrity of heart but there are no results that follow your loving and serving jesus in the name of jesus begin to command unusual results begin to command unusual results I separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for our children we prayed for our children already but we're praying for our children koinonia children will be known for excellence Koinonia children will be known for diligence. They will love the Lord and they will be outstanding. I pray for every professional here. Anyone here who is in the career path, especially a professional, in the name of Jesus, I forbid you from remaining at the same position. <laughs> Business people, hear me. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the grace that helps men prosper everyone in business here I place an anointing upon you go and prosper go and prosper go and prosper go and prosper anyone here in need of a job I declare may your supernatural job locate you Shame and reproach is finally terminated from your life. Now, let me speak over your spiritual life. This is a major prayer point. I've spoken about the things that pertain to life. Let me now speak about the things that pertain to godliness. Because this is very important. Anything eating up your prayer life. So that your passion and your zeal for fellowship and prayer has gone down or you are not interested in spiritual things again receive the fire of revival now whatever spirit ties you and does not allow you to stand up to take your place like a priest and pray against demonic things i decree and declare right now let fresh fire come upon your altar Number two, your word study life. Please hear me. You cannot afford to live in ignorance. The secret of dominion is access to light and even understanding. In the name of Jesus, the grace to be a student of scripture, the grace to be given to doctrine, to learning, may that mantle rest upon you now. For those of you who love Jesus, but your company is full of bad and destructive people. May my God separate you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Edit your friends. Edit your relationships. Make sure love everybody. Mean everybody well. But protect your focus. Protect your vision. And make sure you surround yourself with people who are going where you are going. In the name of Jesus Christ. There will be no obituary from any family. I say it again, there will be no obituary from any family. Whether by road, whether by air, whether by sea, be protected. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for your patience. Let's pray for Nigeria. We will keep praying for Nigeria for as long as we meet until the election. Please, no moving around. We are praying, we are responsible people. Hallelujah. Um, Nigeria is like a boiling pot and there are so many things happening right now you know we're trusting God to be able to select leaders that really love this nation and fear God and mean well for this nation from the presidency gubernatorials there are a number of people here who are you know 
in politics some are even directly contesting for various positions please hear me let me say this if you belong to this ministry and you are contesting for any political position please be sure from your heart that you will not go and be a disappointment to jesus and even to us many christians cry and ask people to vote for them once they are voted into power they throw away god and act like unbelievers until their tenure is almost finished then they just package small money and bring to church as a bribe to restore the damage that they have done for the kingdom we pray that from this place god will raise people who are different i pray for all of you here in this ministry who are contesting or connected to people who are contesting may my god grant you favor but i pray for nigeria we pray for nigeria right from this place from the presidency that's right thank god for the national flag as a point of contact in the name of jesus we pray for this beloved country nigeria and we prophesy by the power that raised christ from the dead that there will be no bloodshed please shout amen everyone or any parties or any individuals from the presidency down to local government or to councillors that are already preparing thugs, paying people, hiring mercenaries that they will be maiming and killing. In the name of Jesus, we release instruments of judgment from here. Any plot by the devil to dis to to disenchantrise this uh, to 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 what was the word again? They centralize the voters and then cause them out of fear to not stay and vote by hiring people. You've heard of people who will be voting and people will just come on a bike and spray people. This time around, it will not work. Yeah. Hear me? I stand here in the name of Jesus. Any arrangement for vote buying, any arrangement for stealing, manipulation of figures in the name of Jesus may the hand of God and the sword of judgment speak against such and we declare that in a way we have never seen in this nation from the presidency to the lowest levels may God handpick for every region in the name of Jesus Christ but by all means we pray for peace in the name of jesus christ no violence whether pre-election during election or post-election i shared with you a vision last week that god showed me we pray for all our media houses that god will grant them grace to do that which they need to do with intelligence and with excellence and professionalism that the media houses will not be the reason for chaos and violence in the name of jesus christ the meaning of that is that since God is putting Nigeria in place, your life must be in place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be for you. For all our international guests who have traveled all the way coming here, you return back with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Now let me give an opportunity for as many who want to make Jesus Christ lord of their lives jesus is the epicenter for and of everything we do as believers hallelujah and it is important that in all our doings that we make commitments to see to it that jesus christ becomes our savior our lord and our king there's someone here for sure who came here to church you are listening you are inside and for the many across all the over the overflows outside and even those following online please let's minimize movement and noise and you are saying apostle please do not end this service without giving me an opportunity i love jesus but i've been searching for an opportunity to make it right with him and to make it right with destiny and then there are yet others who are saying apostle i want to rededicate my life sincerely to jesus christ Wherever you are, I'm going to be counting one to five, very boldly, knowing that you are loved, knowing that he died for you. I want you to leave your seat 
as a sign of surrender and come and stand right here everyone who is making jesus lord of their lives rededicating your life don't wait for someone to come before you come this is a personal issue between you and jesus young and old male female please make your way let's celebrate them as they come come to jesus come to jesus come to jesus you are the mighty God. Hey, Latobi G. You are the glorious God. Alagbara. You are the mighty God. I salute every one of you. Please, if you're, if you're coming, make it very quickly so that um, I'll pray for you, young and old. Thank you for making this bold decision. Jesus said, ye must be born again. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. And please say this after me very loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Lord, as my Savior, and as my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I receive the grace to go forward and to live a victorious life. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, we thank you for these precious ones. You have brought them by your spirit. Now they have made declarations of faith, receiving your life and asking you to be Savior and Lord. I pray by the authority of scripture that their sins indeed are forgiven. And in the name of Jesus, we call them bona fide recipients of your life. I declare that from tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I declare that you are grounded and established in righteousness. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you so much for coming. Please let me request that you follow our counselors. There are counselors waving their hands by my right, which will be your left. Please, all of you together move in concert. You would meet them. They will have a word with you very quickly, and then you'll be back to your seat. Let's celebrate them, please. Let's celebrate them. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Hallelujah. Please let me, two more minutes, let me make three very important announcements and then we're done for tonight um, the first that I have here is from the Koinonia School of Ministry this is to announce that the registration for our 2023 um, KSOM prospective students who are about to start now it commences tomorrow registration duration will be from um, tomorrow 30th to the 11th of February. You have a very short window, a very small time to register. So please make sure that you take advantage of it. Those in Azaria campus, um, the venue has been communicated from Friday and you can go to the Zaria social media platforms to get more details. But for those here in our Abuja campus, the time for the registration will be from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m um daily daily 8 a.m to 4 p.m the venue will be daughters of abraham doa a uh, venue that we use for other activities so please make sure you find out you can make inquiry after the service at the pr desk all those who uh, received admission please make sure that from tomorrow your registration starts immediately the moment the moment that door is closed we will make sure that if there are any uh, people that did not register 
would, if need be, release a supplementary list to replace that because, like you know, there are so many people. My phone personally has been full of text messages from several people asking why they did not get the admission. It's so very painful that we are not able to do more than we do presently. Um, we hope that God will grant us grace and we are determined to improve our school of ministry reach. But for now, we can only work with that. So please do not abuse this opportunity. We will not hesitate to collate all those who do not meet the registration time so that we can release a supplementary list if the need um, arises. But that does not mean you should waylay the admin team with text messages saying, I had apostles say a supplementary list is coming. No, no, no. If at all, a, a supplementary list is, is going to be a private thing. It's, it's a standard practice in every institution. And so um, I'm saying that so we don't unnecessarily raise our hopes. We'll do our best to be just as much as possible. But then just to let you know that the, case, the KSOM registrations begin from um, tomorrow. Praise the name of the Lord. And then the security and transport department is open for new members. This is from the security and transport department. Um, all interested persons you want to be part of our security and transport department is open. They are particularly interested in people, preferably those with security training, those who have military background, and those who have worked with security or any intelligence agencies you are encouraged to apply. We need more hands. The house is large, growing ever by the day, and there's need for more, um, you know, security reinforcement. So all those who are interested, you can wait at the PR stand just outside the main auditorium immediately after the service. For those who want to apply also, you can write your application. It's a very long word, so, sorry, but um, it's Koinonia Special Force Abuja as as one word. I don't know why they chose that, but that's just what we have there. Koinonia Special Force Abuja as one word at gmail.com. So you can address it to the head of security and transport. And um, the closing date, I'm told, is 5th. So it's just for this week, just a few days. And um, please take advantage of it. And the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Other announcements will come hopefully by next week. Announcements that relate to election and then a few other developments um, within the ministry. Like I said, God is lifting us and we're trusting God in earnest. Things that relate to our building, things that relate to other expressions of the ministry. We're already on course, hopefully, to put everything in place. So please keep praying for us and praying that God himself will help us and for everyone who is genuinely connected to this ministry it's important to brace yourself to be part of all the happenings in the ministry whether it's a, a building our a, a, a buildings whether it is a, whatever it is that relates to this ministry know that it concerns you and you should be willing to come in um, as appropriate praise the name of the lord have you been blessed tonight thank you for your patience please rise up on your feet as we close for tonight thank the lord for this service thank him one more time for his grace thank him for giving us such mighty visitations the healings the miracles thank him for the testimonies that you have received in the spirit and that is about to be made manifest in your life father we give you all the praise we bless you because you are god i declare that your weak beginning is blessed in jesus name and I declare that like never before, you will see the hand of God throughout this week. Amen. May the mighty grace of God rest upon you. Amen. It will be evident to you and to all that this is your year of open doors. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By the time you are returning on Sunday, you will return rejoicing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please do well to invite everyone. This is the year. Don't say there are so many people. I know we've exhausted all the halls and all the spaces but that is not an excuse in gathering is a command by god's grace we know that god is soon giving us our own place that will accommodate everybody i hope um you know praise the name of the lord there are so many people and 
those who are in here are a very small fraction you can see of the so many who are here across the overflow so we're trusting god that he will grant us grace but the ministry of in gathering is everybody's business for as long as there is one soul one life to be changed don't come to church alone invite somebody and this is not about crowd god has already you know made a statement for himself we are serious about souls and lives and destinies are we together now and then you know people whose lives are not all right they are scattered living in ignorance give them a chance you you should be able to grant them access to the teachings the teachings are very important hallelujah and if you are not connected um to our and with our, our social media platforms connect to all our social media platforms it is important so that you can receive updates and um then you can help others to experience jesus by the way let's give our media team a a big big god bless you is this how you want to celebrate our media team incredible people hallelujah you just need to go on our social media platforms and you see the incredible work that they are doing ever determined to improve ever determined to serve the wider body with truth so salutations to you precious people the lord bless you you will go from glory to glory in jesus name and thank you all for making the time the sacrifice to be here especially those who have traveled from far we do not take your presence for granted the lord honor you in jesus name let's share the grace together in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit let it rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you and see you next week Alabara, you are the mighty god and you are so you you are the glorious god